I was actually born in Sierra Leone, a little small country in West Africa, and my parents moved us to Vicksburg, Mississippi when I was 10. So that was sort of a life-changing experience. So I grew up in Vicksburg, Mississippi, uh, went to Atlanta for college, and then back to Mississippi, went to Ole Miss for medical school. And then after four years of medical school in Ole Miss, I did my residency in Alabama, and then I went up to New York and I did a fellowship in adult reconstruction, hip replacements and knee replacements at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City. I went to Georgia Tech, where I got a degree in chemical engineering. That's sort of what I wanted to do. And somewhere along the line, probably about you know, my sophomore year or so, or junior in college, uh, my fraternity was volunteering at a local hospital. And I kind of got the bug. I was just sort of, I, as, as an engineer, I missed, I missed a little bit of this, you know, that dialogue you had when talking to people and meeting new people every day and interacting with patients. And, and, and I saw that at the hospital when you were volunteering, and I, was, I thought, this is pretty neat. And so I went back and I said, well, well maybe I'll take the MCAT and we'll see what happens. I did, did okay, and I said, okay, well, maybe I'll apply to medical school and we'll see what happens. Then I got in and I said, okay, well, maybe I'll go and we'll see what happens. It was, it was never really sort of a uh, definitive decision I made as a young guy to go into medicine. Um, but it's, it's, probably the, it's probably the best thing I've ever done. I just, I just really enjoy that interaction with patients and talking to them and finding out about their kids and their grandkids and their lives and also helping them a little bit along the way if, if I can. Sometimes when people come to see you as a surgeon, they come because they're ready for surgery and sort of it's my job to give it to them because that's what, that's what they need. But you know, for me, it's also getting to know the patient because you want to know what their expectations are, you know, where they are in life, you know, how much your knee bothers them, what, what does it prevent them from doing, who they are, what do they enjoy doing. Because that can kind of guide, guide you in terms of deciding a treatment specifically for that patient. If the patient has mild pain but they still hike or ski, you know, maybe they don't need a knee replacement yet, but if, it, if, if, the, if they can't travel with their grandkids and go on trips and they're, if they're finding themselves telling their family, no, dear, you go ahead and I'll wait behind, you know, that patient may need a little push towards an operation that can help restore their quality of life that they may not otherwise have. The thing I enjoy the most is also the thing that frustrates me the most also. And that, again, sort of goes back to my engineering background. I like hard, fast science. I like facts. I know that if you change the spark plugs on a 1973 Volkswagen, it, it's going to be the same, exactly the same way. People are a lot more complex than that. People aren't necessarily the same. You know, if you change a part on one person, it may not ex result exactly the same way in another person. And that's the part that I love, because you get to sit down and talk to people and interact with them and find out who that person in, is as an individual. But because people are individuals, they don't always respond the same way. I always like to say that I'm constant. I do the surgery exactly the same way every time. And some people do better than others. And that frustrates me. And uh, I want everybody to do perfectly every time. But everybody's different, and uh, the part that I like is that everybody's different. The part that frustrates me is that everybody's different. And that's sort of that double-edged sword that really gets me sometimes. I enjoy spending time with my wife and my boys. We've got three sons, and just hanging out with them, watching movies or riding bikes, and just spending time with them is, is the most important thing to me.